So I'm pleased to be joined with Samuel MC. You have a album coming out on Saturday. It's called Live Again. And we're going to chat about that in a few minutes. But I also just you know, want to introduce you to the CHVN listeners. So I guess to start, how did you get your start in music? Like, was it from an early age? Like, I want to do this? Or what did that look like for you? Well, um, from an early age, um, I kind of started to get into music by my parents. They had a lot of music kind of a musical background my mom liked jazz my dad was a dj and so i got exposed to a lot of records early on a lot of 60s 70s records and i also got into some instruments like keyboard like when i was very young and then eventually i ended up getting my first guitar on christmas and then bass and i really liked bass and then I ended up going to saxophone because I ended up hearing a lot of jazz, too, in those records. And it just really inspired me to do saxophone, like hearing stuff like Kenny G and other other sort of records. And that really inspired me. And also going to a school like LCS, um, there's a lot of great educators like uh, teachers like Bobby Fast, who directed the band, and uh, Kim Newfeld, she directed the choir, and so I kind of just grew in that little world, you know. And now I'm at university, so that's a big step for me. So I'll be doing jazz for the next four years. And how important, and uh, yeah, how important would you say, like? saying that your parents really introduced music to you from a young age. That's so kind of always been a part of your life. So obviously now as you're an adult and you're kind of like trying to pave your own path, like how big of a role did that play for you? I think that played a decent role. That definitely sparked my interest mm. because like so many genres of music out there and just being exposed and kind of like just access to like a little library, like nothing big, but like a little library, especially with CHVN, like being exposed to CHVN and listening to those songs and singing those songs with my parents. It really did kind of develop a musical ear because I would kind of, that'd be something I do all the time. So it definitely helped a lot in the process of, you know. Of just kind of making your own, making your own stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I guess you can, yeah, you can hear a song and you're like, okay, I like how they did this. I like how this artist did that. And you can just kind of create something on your own. So I guess another question, like, what's been a highlight for you making your own music and kind of getting to create something? Well, recently it's it's kind of been experimenting with, like, programs that I use to edit the music. Because, I don't know, um, ever since I've actually been working in at, at a home studio, like I've actually kind of had this love for music production, kind of just building. And that's something I've been getting increasingly excited about. Like I've also had like a really big interest in kind of how music is structured too and how like certain harmonies go together. Like I, w I was a big harmony person. So I'm not really a rhythm person because I don't really play drums. I never really kind of evolved in that kind of thing. But, yeah, just a lot of that, you know. And so like we said, you have an album coming out on September 14th called Live Again. And so for somebody that's going to listen to that, what – what type of music, like how would you describe your music? You were saying before you play a number of instruments. So what can they expect when they hear those songs? Well, you can expect uh, mostly contemporary uh, gospel, Christian gospel music um, in a variety of like kind of genres. There's, there's rock, there's like some so sort of Michael Jackson inspired uh, kind of pop song. And there's, of course, like a little bit of jazz sprinkled in because I'm a big fan of mostly fusion and like jazz kind of songs. So I sprinkle a little bit of that in every so often. 
And what is a theme or a message maybe of a specific song on the album or just the album as a whole? What are you hoping that listeners take away from it? Well, well, since the main song is Live Again, uh, and, well, the other songs are based off the Bible. Like, they're based off uh, chapters of James. But I think the main theme is just putting your trust in God and how God, like, it's my story about how God kind of, well, he, he helped me to love myself. He helped me to express myself through music and how if you put your trust in him, you won't be disappointed. You won't be. It's just kind of impossible for him to disappoint you. And how would you say, like, you know, briefly touching on that, like in your own experience, like what is that like kind of putting memories or things that you've gone through into music? What has that process been like? Like put it, putting like my own experience. Yeah, just like you said, trusting God. Like yeah. for you personally, like I'm sure that in your songs you have, like you were writing about personal experiences of things that you've gone through. So what was that process like? Well, it was... It's a little bit spontaneous putting that ins- inspiration from like my memories and experiences to my songs. Like, I don't know. I get, I kind of get a song in my head and then I really have to write it down before it goes away <laughs> or like a dream or something like that. But yeah, it's, it, uh, it takes a while after that because you start thinking about like the deeper questions. Hmm. Like, um, in Live Again, like, I was really kind of in a bad spot. We were preparing for a concert. I had no lyrics for this musical tune I had. And so, I don't know, I was really in a bad spot at the time, just when life gets you down, you know? And so, well, I kind of cried out to God there, and I was like, God, please help me do this. I need your help. And I did that well more consistently and well he he just kind of dropped this in my soul so like I ended up working on it and like of course like these are kind of based more on the bible but I like to add like my own kind of experiences with it and also like um also stories too like sometimes there's stories of like I don't know what other people go through and I like to kind of look into that and make songs about that too. And for people that are watching or listening to this and they want to kind of follow along your music journey, where is the best place for them to do that? Okay. Well, there is my website. You can go to uh www.samuelm-c.com. Uh, You'll have a lot of links, a lot of information, kind of a little bio about who I am, what I like, and all that fun stuff. And then there's links to my Instagram and YouTube channel. Hopefully there'll be more in the future as I'm still like developing social platforms. But it's mostly that YouTube channel, which is also Samuel M. C. and Instagram, which I've I mean, I have, like, a, a personal account, but then there's, like, just my artist account. Perfect. So. And we'll have that linked in the article and everything so people can follow along. And, you know, anytime that you post updates that they can be the first to know. So, Samuel, thank you so much for coming in and joining us today, chatting, sharing about your music. And we're excited yeah. to see what comes in the future and how you continue to grow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.